So my name is Jose Conejo García and I am assistant professor with a primary appointment in microbiology and immunology and I have a second appointment in the Department of Medicine. I arrived here to Dartmouth in 2005 and since then I've been working in mostly in tumor immunology but in immunology in general. Uh, it is a co-stimulatory molecule. It uh, gets upregulated when T cells get activated by uh, antigens presented by uh, specialized cells. Uh, and in turn, this uh, molecule induces the activation and further expansion of other lymphocytes uh, in the proximity. Uh, so it is an immunostimulatory uh, molecule. Co-stimulatory molecules are necessary for the sustained, robust expansion of T cells. T cells are primarily activated in response to antigens presented by specialized cells and bound to MAC class 1 or MAC class 2 depending on the type of the T cell, CD4 or CD8. However, in the absence of additional signals, this proliferation will not be sustained, will not be uh, uh, robust. Will, this clone eventually will die by apoptosis because the cells will not be able to resist the uh, metabolic needs that uh, growing cells and proliferating cells require. So you need additional signals to have immunostimulation rather than tolerance. The paradigm of co-stimulation is uh, a, a signal uh, uh, provided by antigen presenting cells that engage on CD28. So in that context, Pilar acts as a co-stimulatory molecule interacting with different receptors, not CD28, other receptors. But uh, the effect is uh, similar. So in the presence of Pilar, we get more uh, cytokine production, we get uh, a regulation of anti-apoptotic genes, and as a result, uh, uh, that boosts expansion of T cells and increases cytokine production. More inflammation, more immunostimulation. Traditionally, co-stimulatory molecules are expressed by antigen presenting cells, typically myeloid cells. The, the most efficient antigen presenting cell is the dendritic cell. And the molecules that uh, stimulate CD28 are expressed uh, uh, primarily by dendritic cells. The interesting thing about Pilar is that it is expressed by T cells. So uh, the, the co-stimulation takes takes place in a TT-dependent uh, manner. So T cells stimulate neighbor T cells, uh, which is uh, an, an important difference with other classical uh, co-stimulatory molecules. However, I should probably add that uh, we, in the context of inflammation, not in uh, naive cells, but in the context of inflammation, in patients with autoimmune conditions, uh, we uh, start finding expression of pillar also on cells of myeloid origin. This is very new, it is unpublished, uh, and we still have to confirm it, but it would be uh, uh, also an, an important direction. Pilar engages on a receptor expressed by activated T cells, and also by activated monocytes, but in the context of T cell stimulation, engages with this receptor, which is called CD161. And CD161 induces uh, some signaling that eventually results in the upregulation of anti-apoptotic genes, will, which will prevent the, 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 the elimination of that particular clone and the uh, upregulation of multiple cytokines, which will in turn uh, activate expansion and uh, induce more activation of that particular 
uh, uh, milieu where T cells are expanding. So uh, uh, the, the eventually there will be more expansion, more activation of T cells, more inflammation, more immunostimulation. What we have found, and this is a puzzling observation that uh, we are still trying to understand, is that when we stimulate T cells in the presence of pilar overexpression, when we add more pilar ectopically in a system uh, where we activate T cells, and at the same time we block CD161, surprisingly, we get T cell apoptosis. So rather than inducing the stimulation uh, and, and the activation of these T cells, we induce their death. Uh, the, the, our hypothesis is that there should be a second receptor which uh, uh, induces apoptosis and the effect of that receptor is uh, 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 prevented by engagement with CD161. But this is so far only a hypothesis. The, 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 the therapeutic consequence uh, of that uh, uh, hypothesis, if we were able to confirm that, is that by blocking CD161 in pathological conditions where T cells are playing a, a, a clear negative role, let's say rheumatoid arthritis, uh, we could induce the elimination of this uh, important pathogenic component. Uh, we believe that th that this crosstalk between uh, CD161 and Pilar is is very important uh, uh, for the pathogenesis of autoimmune uh, diseases, where TA17 cells have been demonstrated to play uh, a role, uh, uh, specifically rheumatoid arthritis, and. Uh, we have found that CD161 is also expressed in activated monocytes uh, in, in inflammatory joint fluid uh, from patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, so Pilar may not only signal on T cells, uh, but also on monocytes that produce things like interleukin-1 beta and other inflammatory cytokines. So blocking Pilar or blocking CD161, depending on the availability and kinetics of uh, neutralizing antibodies, uh, may be a very uh, doable uh, uh, therapeutic approach in the future. We have been recently funded uh, by uh, an internal uh, uh, initiative here at Dartmouth uh, through the uh, Clinical and Translational Science uh, Award uh, Initiative uh, to work on, to characterize the role of Pilar in autoimmune conditions. So we are right now collecting uh, inflammatory synovial fluid from patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, we are collecting uh, also uh, uh, blood samples uh, from uh, patients with autoimmune conditions before and after treatment, and we are collecting also uh, uh, histological sections of patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, we want first to understand uh, in which diseases, in which autoimmune conditions, Pilar is present, and then to uh, uh, dissect its role, its patho pathogenic role. So we have the possibility, and we have started doing these experiments, of sorting specific cell types from uh, uh, this inflammatory uh, synovial fluid or, or, or places of inflammation in different conditions. And uh, we are in the process of analyzing what happens when we uh, increase pillar availability in vitro uh, on different cell types. Do these cells produce more cytokines? Do they produce less cytokines? How can we uh, uh, induce the death of these cells by blocking either Pilar or CD161. This is our next goal.